I'm still loyal to the Ninja Empire. What's up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thanks for checking out this video. So today is the big day, the final main build day, I guess you can call it. Phase one, we're going to call it. Phase one. And uh, it's going to be me putting all the stuff in the actual case. If you've seen my pretty previous build logs, then you see me, uh, you see me testing it outside of the case and taking pictures for my build log on Linus Tech Tips and a couple other forms. So been uh, doing some baseline benchmarking and stuff like that outside of the case but haven't gotten it all in the case so we're gonna be doing that today the main part of the build so I'm excited so let's go So it is the moment of truth. I've been working for about an hour now after getting everything set up. So not too bad for a pretty typical PC build. And as you can see behind me, we are going to uh, try to get the first boot. Yes, it lives. So I gotta say, it was a pretty straightforward build. Cable management, as I think you guys can see, is pretty decent for, um, you know, uh, a not too busy build. I don't have a lot of stuff in here at the moment, but the plan is to get a second card. Not gonna have that many drives in this. It's gonna be purely for gaming, so I got a game in there for um, capturing. Excuse me, I have a hard drive in there for capturing. I'm gonna get a second one for, uh, just for games, and then I'll have an SSD just for operating system and applications like uh, benchmarking and stuff like that and then a second SSD for um, my kind of AAA games like Battlefield but I wonder if that that light on the Intermax kind of kills the ramp so that's so this fan 140 kind of covers the RAM a little bit. So definitely want to do something like painting these or maybe swapping them for, with someone who has a black version of the case because those come with white internals. And then these of course, don't know if I can do anything about the grommets. I'll look into something to paint rubber. Not sure, maybe something like a vinyl paint will paint that pretty well to get all the grommets all the way around 100% white. And the main issue I don't know if I can call it an issue, but main thing uh, is the graphics card, of course. This is the EVGA GTX 980 for the win. It's pretty awesome. Didn't come with a back plate, so I got one. So I can paint that, and that'll you know increase kind of the, the whiteout effect. But um, the shroud, of course, is not white. So if I can buy a shroud and dye it or paint it, from someone who's maybe just water cooling their GPU and don't plan on ever needing the uh, heat shroud again. Um, so yeah, that's an option. I also want to get, well, I already talked to um, InSource Cables, so I'm going to be getting some cables from them. So it's going to be all white individually sleeved cables, except for the non-modular cables down there, which will, um, I'll have to resleeve myself. And I've already got some sleeving for that, but yeah, things like USB 
and um, stuff like down there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. If you guys think I should sleeve everything, let me know. But definitely get some extensions and sleeves so I can get rid of that rainbow bright thing. Um, one of the few things I don't like about the um, Fractal Design Newton series is the the rainbow um, colors. That, even if the black was sleeved further down, that'd be great. But hey, it's a great power supply. It's just that one thing. Um, need to take that away. But other than that, I'm really satisfied. The build went very easily, pretty straightforward. I guess I can hop around, show off some of the cable management a little bit. So I use no extra zip ties, and I've yet to close it because you don't close a case before. It posts. I guess you can do the back, but um, yeah, there's the Intel 730. There's going to be a second one sitting right there. We'll see if those stay there. Um, I kind of want to do some some more mods where I can kind of show them off somehow. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that's going to be the main part of this build, the main third build vlog, if you will. So more to come still. As I mentioned, I have a lot of mods I want to be doing. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and let me know whether you want to see more videos like this in the future. Got mods on this, like I said, but also got some um, other builds coming up, like a, a HTPC for the gaming room and just a lot of builds. I could build a computer pretty much every weekend if I could. But if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that because lots of things. And Amazon link is down in the description um, if you use it. When you buy stuff on Amazon, like Mike and Ike's or all the stuff you need to buy here, do that, build this and buy it with my link. But yeah, if you use it, uh, bookmark it and use it, then I get a small commission. It costs you guys nothing and it helps out the channel hugely so I can keep making content like this. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.